A rainy day turns into a muddy mayhem when farm and zoo animals find themselves in sticky situations. A curious goat sinks knee deep in the pig bin, a baby elephant gets its foot stuck in the watering hole, and even a fluffy alpaca needs help after a roll in the mud. But fear not, little rescuers are on the case. With buckets, brushes, and plenty of giggles, kids will love washing the animals clean. Reindeer can change eye color from gold in summer to blue in winter to adapt to changing light levels. Reindeer are the only deer species in which both sexes grow antlers, though females are smaller. Reindeer make one of the longest land migrations of any mammal, up to 3,000 miles. Wolves are the ancestors of domestic dogs, Canis lupus familiaris, diverging around 15,000 to 40,000 years ago. Wolves form lifelong family bonds and care deeply for each other. Sharing food and caring for the young and sick, wolves howl to communicate across distances. It's used for coordination, territory marking, and bonding. Each wolf's howl is unique. Sheep can recognize and remember up to 50 individual sheep and human faces for years. They use this ability to maintain complex social relationships within their flock. When sick, sheep will selectively eat specific plants that contain medicinal properties to treat their ailments, a behavior known as zoo pharmacognosy. Goats were one of the first animals domesticated by humans, originally in the Middle East. Goats can climb steep rocks and trees. Mountain goats live in extreme alpine environments. Goats eat grass, hay, shrubs, leaves, and weeds. Farmers often use goats to clear land of unwanted vegetation. Goats are raised around the world for milk, meat, Leopards are incredibly adaptable. They live in forests, savannas, mountains, deserts, and even urban edges across Africa and parts of Asia. Leopards have a beautiful golden yellow coat with rosette-shaped spots that help with camouflage. Leopards are strong and muscular, Chickens were domesticated around 8,000 years ago, originally from wild jungle fowl in Southeast Asia. Chickens can recognize over 100 faces, solve problems, and learn through observation. Chicken eggs take about 21 days to hatch. Hens don't need a rooster to lay eggs. Roosters crow at dawn and throughout the day to establish territory, not just because of sunlight. Their internal clock, circadian rhythm, triggers the iconic crowing. Roosters guard their flock by sounding alarm calls for aerial, e.g. hawks, and ground, e.g. foxes, predators, sometimes sacrificing themselves to save hens. Dragons are mythical creatures. 
there is no scientific evidence they ever existed, but they are beloved in stories worldwide. Dragons appear in Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hobbit, and many video games and anime. Dragons have inspired flags, emblems, art, architecture, and family crests throughout history. Alligators are cold-blooded reptiles and belong to the same order as crocodiles, but they are different animals. Alligators eat fish, birds, turtles, mammals, and even carrion, dead animals. They wait quietly in water and lunge at prey with powerful jaws. Grasshoppers are insects with six legs, two antennae, and three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. Grasshoppers have strong back legs that allow them to leap 20 times their body length or more. Grasshoppers are often confused with crickets, but grasshoppers are usually active during the day, while crickets are more nocturnal. Camels can drink up to 40 gallons, 150 liters, of water in one go, and they can go up to two weeks without water. Camels live for about 40 to 50 years, used for transport, milk, meat, wool, and carrying loads. Camels' gestation period is about 13 to 14 months, usually giving birth to one calf. Giraffes are the tallest land animals, with adult males reaching up to 18 feet, 5.5 meters tall. Giraffes fight by swinging their necks and heads to show dominance, a behavior called necking. Giraffe has a unique pattern of spots, which helps with camouflage and identification. Snakes have no legs but can move quickly and quietly using their muscles and scales. Some snakes lay eggs, while others give birth to live young. Snakes flick their tongues to taste the air and pick up scent particles, which helps them find prey. Snakes don't have eyelids. Instead, their eyes are covered by a clear scale called a spectacle. Their eyes are covered by a clear scale called a spectacle. Dogs were domesticated from wolves over 15,000 years ago and have been humans' companions ever since. Dogs have up to 300 million smell receptors, compared to about 6 million in humans. Dogs communicate through barking, growling, whining, body language, and facial expressions. Dogs love treats, but some human foods like chocolate and grapes are toxic to them. Bulls are mainly used for breeding, and in some cultures, for work or sport, like bullfighting. Bulls can be territorial and aggressive, especially around other males or during breeding season. Bulls eat grass, hay, grains, and silage, just like cows.
tigers mostly live and hunt alone, marking large territories to keep others away. Unlike most cats, tigers love water and are strong swimmers. A tiger's roar can be heard up to two miles, three kilometers away. Their stripes help them blend into the forest shadows. Tigers are endangered due to habitat loss and poaching, with fewer than 4,000 left in the wild. Horses have been domesticated for about 5,000 to 6,000 years and were crucial for transportation, farming, and warfare. Horses have large eyes on the sides of their heads, giving them almost 360-degree vision. Horses' hooves are made of keratin, like human nails, and need regular care called hoof trimming. Horses eat grass, hay, Cows have a unique four-chambered stomach that helps digest tough plant material like grass. Cows are pregnant for about nine months. Usually, one calf is born, which can stand and walk within an hour. Cows can find their way home over long distances using the Earth's magnetic field. Cows use different moves to communicate with their calves or other herd members. And who's already busy in the mud? Wiggly worms, busy beetles, and other tiny critters that call the muck home. This hands-on adventure isn't just about scrubbing paws and hooves, it's a playful introduction to the world of insects and soil creatures that thrive in wet, messy places. <laughs>